Well, it's almost midnight. I am just getting back to the house now, and I got to be up early again tomorrow. We're going to train some of the babies up tomorrow. Well, train. We're going to go the right way with some of the babies tomorrow. And uh, I'd like to get greatest ending trained up really good also. I'm worried. There's an almost a 10 at the Meadows, but I'm worried that they're going to end up just stuffing them in the open, which would not be where I want to be with this horse right now. So tomorrow we go with uh, greatest ending and a number of other horses. Uh, but today, today it was a pretty good day at the office. Uh, two wins. Uh, Kemp looked great at the Meadows. Um, and so did Absolute Euphoria. So she's going to head to the field now right away. Uh, Stay Close was a decent fifth. You know, again, you're racing against open type horses, good horses. And then on a two-week rotation, it's pretty hard to get him um, to get him going like that. You know, everybody, I still get emails from people saying, does he need a rest? Does he need a rest? I'm not going to call needing a rest after, you know, I'm not going to look at today's performance and say, off of that, he needs a rest. No. Let's let the horse race down a class next week, and then we'll decide what we're going to do with him. We're going to rest him at some point. Fine. Um, you know, there will be uh, a tipping point at some point where stay close and per lucky, and those horses are probably offered up for sale later on. There's no need to do it right now, but uh, later on when when uh, Perlucky's meat starts to get close at uh, an Indy at Illinois in Illinois that's not till almost February I'm just saying as we get further down the line there will be uh, there will be a time to move some of these horses especially when we start to bring in new horses like uh, Tech Song Soprano that we purchased yesterday the younger horse <coughs> younger horse with lots of upside um, you guys know that I don't have to tell you that so happy with everybody and I was happy with stay close then I made it all the way back for Coop Coop was good just beat she was a little pinchy on her right hind after which I hadn't seen before uh, so we're gonna keep a close eye on that see what went on with her tonight um, uh, but you know she's had such a tremendous year been such a nice horse for us and as I keep saying to everybody one way or another uh, we'll get paid for her if I have to hang on to Coop and uh, and breed her then so be it um, then so be it so um, that was Coop, third race good again. Again, what, eight, nine starts, something like that in a row where she hasn't missed the board, only out of the top three one time, and that was tonight when she was third, beat, what, a half a length, a quarter of a length. She raced great. Lindy's Landing, a little sluggish in the first half a mile, but once I got him chugging down the backstretch and got him moving, he actually tried to run down that horse and look good in doing it. Bit of a funny bugger to drive. Didn't really spring off the car that strong today. I couldn't move him. It was clear that the horses on the front wanted to be on the front. I was following Aaron, which looked to be the right move and the right place to be at the time. And then, uh, and then, um, uh, I'll get it to and then um, Aaron's horse sprung first. Or, and Aaron's horse is a good horse. Racing in sire steak horses this year. No joke. Uh, Dominov, you know, he was kind of a middle of the roader in the steak scene, but certainly a step above even Lindy's Landing, who's a nice little horse, but not what you would call steak material. Just a nice overnight, um, you know, condition claiming horse. So two totally different engines there, and Dominoff kind of skipped off on me. I see he's only got five wins now, so I suspect we're going to see more of him over the next few weeks. But we'll see how that plays out over the next few weeks. Uh, and then Park Slope. Fourth, not very often, all five horses that were one, two, three, four, five are in ahead of each other. I don't even think you can call that a neck. We were fourth, beat a nose, a whisker for second, and a... Uh, and ahead for uh, and ahead for for winning the whole thing. So when I looked under the wire, I heard him call um, Mini Bar Hanover. I'm like, ah, second, whatever. It never dawned on me. I'm looking up the screen. I'm like, what? It was fourth? But um, she raced good again. It's some stuff to work on with her. Left line hard in the straightaways. Now we put an open on her. I could see that that's why that was. But what does she do if I put the Murphy on the outside? Does she run in now? Is she worse at doing that? I don't know, but there's going to have to be some mechanical uh, adjustments done with her, I think. A little pacey going up to the gate. A little pacey when she's doubled up. Her tail popped up at the quarter pole. There was a lot that went on in that race today that I noticed just physically from the filly. The tail popping up is usually a pretty good sign that maybe she's a little crampy. Want to get that blood work done again tomorrow and get a closer look at her AST. And I guess her GGT also. When I moved her, it looked like she was going to scream past them. Then she kind of hung out down by the wire 
Again, that tail up in the air, hanging on the left line, a little scrambly in spots. There's so much we can improve on with this filly over the next little while. It's going to be exciting because I know I've seen all this happen before. Little by little, we can make incremental changes that will help her, and I'm very interested to see how they're going to play out, um, how they're going to play out in the, the coming weeks and, I guess, months. Uh, not too long. She is scheduled to be bred. We are aiming some of our horses. We were trying to breed uh, or sell uh, Coop as a broodmare, but again, she will be bred, whether it's from us or somebody else, in the new year. Park Slope will be bred in the new year. Um, I don't think we have any more that are slated to be bred in the new year other than the mares that we have right now. So a, a decent day at the office. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Two wins and a fifth at the Meadows. Uh, a second, third, and fourth here in uh, and a fifth with fish so no one missed any checks we had two wins a second a third a fourth and two fifths today not a bad day at the office so with that i'm gonna let you guys go i'm gonna talk to you tomorrow we're gonna train a bunch of train we're not training yet we're gonna go the right way uh with a bunch of babies tomorrow and see how that goes um, there's a ton of rain coming on Friday and unfortunately I just looked at the radar and there is some rain in the forecast for Guelph Ontario on Saturday so I hope that that changes over the next couple of days because I do want to get uh, the drone out for you guys I'm gonna be in Ontario the horses are ready to start droning this will be their first drone session in uh, in Ontario and it's very important that we get it done so fingers crossed that we can uh, Fingers crossed that we can get that done on Saturday for you. So that's a wrap. It's now 12.04 uh, at night. I'm going to throw my suit in the washer. I'm going to go to bed. Um, go to bed and uh, look forward to a day. It's not going to be a long day. It's going to be an early start. A lot of work in the morning. Get out of there. Go to the meadows. I'm done in race four tomorrow. So I'll be back here by four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But uh, between the long day today and the early start tomorrow, I'm sure it'll take its toll tomorrow afternoon. Anyway. Wouldn't change it for the world. We had a great day at the office, as I said, and hopefully we have a great day tomorrow again. Good luck to my partners tomorrow. We have Think of Galaxies and uh, Delicious Stone DK. Good luck.